Hey guys, my name is Miles and today I will be doing a deck profile, uh, probably with like a one to two minute tournament report over like the past two tournaments at the end. Uh, but this mainly will be a deck profile. Spellbooks is my deck engine, I've been playing it like forever, ever since it, like High Priestess came out. And uh, like this, this is the build I've been playing for since pretty much the ban list now. Um, no, since, uh, yeah, since the new ban list. It's a solid build, wouldn't change anything about it, I'm like completely happy with it. I'm not going to make any changes it to at all, this format. Uh, this will be the last deck profile I make on this deck to after the ban list, but yeah, let's just get straight into it. Um, and let you know what I think of the deck. Two Priestess, because you don't need three. Um, generally, I side out the first priestess, uh, the second Priestess against Dragons. Um, a lot of people have been asking me what I side out when I use spellbooks, so throughout the video I'll kind of say what I side out. Uh, then we've got three Justice. I normally side out all three, to be honest, against Dragons. Uh, well, no, I normally side out, yeah, I side out all three against Dragons. If you've only got one Priestess in, you don't need these at all. Um, and also, if I know if my opponent's going to side in Iron Walls, I side out, like, generally two of them. Uh, but yeah, I really like Justice. The way I see Justice is it adds me Spellbook Secrets. That's the reason I play this card so... Like, I love this card so much. It adds the Priestess, but mainly it adds like the Spellbook of Secrets. It, it gets your plays going, so... Then the free Magician. Magician is Magician. He's just an amazing card. And the free Kaiku. Kaiku. Kaiku and Fate are the reason this deck is good. Uh, so yeah, when Dragons get hit, if they do get hit next list... The Kaikus will most likely come out, and yeah, we'll have to see where this deck goes. Like the reason this deck's doing semi decent at the moment is because of dragons. Now, the same reason of, like evil swarms. If dragons go, evil swarms will just won't be that great. Um, spells. You got the three secrets, the three crescent, the two master, and the two power. Power is a great card. I normally side out. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, I side out generally. Two Crescents pretty much every game. Like, literally every single game I side out two Crescents straight away. Um, and I side out one power a lot. Uh, two Eternity, side out one if I know they're going to play Iron Wolves. Same with Fate, side out one if I know they're going to play Iron Wolves. <laughs> Fate is also an amazing card. Like, Fate, everyone knows how good Fate is. Fate is the best card in the deck. Fate is, like, easily one of the top five cards in the game right now. Like, it's just so good. It wins duels. Easily. Uh, two towers, one wisdom, and one life. Generally, side out the life if they side an iron wall. Uh, one book of moon and a two pot duality. That is it for the spells. Then you got the traps. You got the torrential, the bottomless, and the compulse. The two mirror force, two Phoenix chain, and the six cents. Always say three and four. Um, unless obviously like you're legitly about to lose and you need like five or six cards to win Then you say five and six But like nine times out of ten I say three and four of this card because milling five to six spellbooks is pretty good for the deck to be honest Like if I can mill a priestess, that's fine because then I can go spellbook of life and bring back the priestess and If I mill spellbooks it sets up fate. So yeah, like milling is fine in this deck and it's so fucking broke So that's the main deck uh, and then I guess you'll show you guys the extra deck. I was about to show you the side, but it's not a tournament report, so yeah. Uh, so main deck, I mean, extra deck. Armor Kappa, never made this so far. Made this once today. This isn't a bloody tournament report. Yeah, so these are your rank twos. Um, this wins games a lot. Like, if they kind of like, you know, they're thinking they're playing spellbooks. Spellbooks can't put much damage on board. They end their turn. You get the magicians, make this, summon like a free stairs, so you just kill them. Uh, these two are the mainly important ones, to be honest. Uh, then I've got two rank threes, uh, the Fortune and Acid Golem. For the rank fours, you've got the Gargo Cowboy, the Maestroke, the Diamond Direwolf, and the Black Shipcorn. <clears throat> and for rank sevens, you've got the Big Eye, the Drago Sack, the Master of Blades, and the uh, Hero Font or Hero Fant. So that's it for the deck. So that's the deck profile guys, um, I hope you guys like it, if you want to hear like a quick tournament report stick around, I'll quickly do that now, but if not, uh, thank you for watching this part of the video, and yeah, I'll get straight into the tournament report. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I took spellbooks for the past two tournaments, very quickly I'm just going to say, 
The tournament last Saturday, I came second place, uh, generally due to being errors on time. For some reason, some people at my locals thought, if you start game three in time, you roll a dice to see who goes first, I was fine with that. And then whoever goes first, whoever wins the dice roll, they go first. Once again, I was fine with that. But the retards thought, so say my opponent, this is what happened, my opponent won the dice roll. They were saying it was going to be turn one to him, turn two to me, turn three to him, that's it. That was ridiculous. I was like, no, that's a fucking outrage. That's not true. Like, it goes one, two, three, four. But yeah, they ended up, like, just not listening to me and saying it's one, two, three. Uh, and I got, I lost to that. And I know in the finals I drew such bad hands. I hated it. It was, like, just disgusting. But there's no point making excuses. I lost the finals. That was it. I came second. Happy with the deck. Uh, today at locals... Um, at my different locals, I came first of it. The deck just performs really well. The only problem, and it's the same problem every deck has, it sometimes opens up those like terrible hands where I get like say, like a justice, two fates, and a turn e, and like literally just like useless cards. Like generally with this deck, if you don't open up a spell because secrets or a magician, you're kind of in a bad position. Like you want secrets or magician in your opening hand. But yeah, that's the deck. Um, I'll quickly show you like a generic side deck I normally use of this deck, like the one I use today anyway. Tsukiyomi would take that out. The two Maxi, the two Twister, the three MST, the Divine Wrath, uh, two Debunks, two Mind Controls, uh, Mind Crushes, and two Rivalry. I like the side deck a lot. I just don't like this. But I keep switching this between Breaker and Tsukiyomi because obviously I side up my Justices a lot. And I don't want to, like, really, really, like, put my spellcaster count to, like, a minimum. Because you need the spellcasters for, like, power, master, fate, and all that. So, they are quite important to have. So, I do like to try to keep my spellcaster count quite high. But, yeah, whatever. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile. I hope you guys enjoyed the kind of mini slash little tournament report. So, as I say, the past two tournaments, it's come second, then first. Um, it's come first plenty of times in the past and come seconds. It normally gets like to, t to the finals, this deck. It's such a consistent deck. I do really, really love spellbooks. And how can you not love these three? These are my three favourite spellbooks, just so people know. I want to get these tattooed on my arm because I'm a faggot. But yeah, let me know what you think of deck profile and I will see you guys with this deck next format. Um, this week will be a very deck profile week. If you're still watching the video, um, Monday. I'm going to have a what deck profile, Wednesday I'm going to have a Firefist deck profile, and then Friday we're going to round it up with a Noble Knight deck profile. I hope you guys look forward to that, a lot of people have been asking me where my Noble Knight deck profile is coming. Uh, that's coming soon, uh, I've been working hard on it and I hope you guys like it. Uh, but until my next video guys, I will see you later.